All right, so I'm going to demonstrate just how to do the uppercut. And uh, so the punching bag is not really the best thing to really do a powerful uppercut on, but I'm just going to demonstrate using, using the bag. Okay, so from, okay, <clears throat> when you use the uppercut, it's usually when you're in close. You're in a closer range. So I'm inside like this with my opponent, and it's right here. So my shoulders are wide. What I'm going to need to do is to be able to get between my opponent's arm. My opponent's arms are going to be like this. He's going to, so the block against the uppercut is this. So my, the key is for me to get my hand between his block. So if I throw an uppercut just right from here, it's kind of an angle, and it's not really going to get between his arms. So what I need to do is line up my shoulder so that I go up right between his arms. So from here, so my shoulders are kind of wide right here. I'm going to take my right shoulder and make it so I can go up the center. This, so I line my right shoulder up to the center of the bag. So from here, uh, sometimes you can do a little step out. So from here, I'll just do a little step with my right foot. I angle out and come right up the center. So a normal, a regular punch goes uh, counterclockwise. Okay? But for the uppercut, you're going to do the opposite. It goes clockwise with the fist. Okay? Regular punch goes this way, uppercut goes this way. So from here, I do this right under my chin. I can bob right here or set it up because often we, we do it off of a punch. I'll go slip and then right here. So as I slip, I have my hand ready right here and twist. Okay, for the left side, so we move to the left to set up the right uppercut. Now to set up the left uppercut, I'm going to move to the right. So I'm going to bring my right shoulder forward, and same thing with the left hand, palm facing down, up, bob left, up, keep to the right, this way, I use this as a block, slip the punch, slip, right uppercut, left, slip with the right hand, left uppercut. Okay, to get snapped with the shoulder, what you want to do is wind up, lead with the shoulder. You know, see, the shoulder's always going to come first. This is how you get power with your punch. Shoulder, and the hand can drop down, but you do it quick. You don't, you don't drop it like this real wide, but it comes from your chin. From your chin, it quickly goes down and up to get power. Okay, and there's going to be some lifting with the legs. This is how you get power, and your body, you need your body to be real stiff. Your whole body to be a good, solid unit here and you're lifting with your whole body. Now you don't want to go like this. If you miss, you don't want to punch through the punch so you miss going past the target. So you want to learn to snap it and stop it right at the target. And then afterward, be ready to weave because you're in the pocket. So your opponent's going to be throwing counter punches, hooks and uppercuts as well and body shots. So you got to be ready to deal with these other counter punches. Right? And left, left, so left, position, left, or from right here, without stepping out, I can just, from right here, just get my left arm straight up between my opponent's uh, arms. Up. So right, left. So I can just, what I do with my shoulders, if I don't move my feet to get position, then I just adjust my shoulders a little bit. So notice I'm bringing my body over to the left a little bit to get the right shoulder up the middle. Then move to the right a little bit to get the left shoulder centered up the middle. That's your basic uppercut technique.